Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another basically daily video. So today what we have is the new meta is very different than what it was before. The brawlers that were at the bottom are definitely no longer at the bottom and the brawlers that were at the top, I mean some may be still meta but it is completely different. We're going to show you guys the top 10 best brawlers in Brawl Stars right now. That being said, let's just hop into it. Okay, so I couldn't decide on which brawler I wanted to make 10. So we have a tie for 10th spot, but right now we have Lola. So Lola is a really good brawler at what it's good at. It just does a lot of damage. And I mean a lot of damage. You put down that little clone, you use it as a shield and nothing can hurt you. The shield blocks way too much damage. They should probably nerf it a little bit to be honest because it just blocks everything you actually can't get hurt if you're just hiding behind it and the brawler has no pierce it's gonna tank every shot but lola melts safes in like heist or siege back when siege was a competitive mode uh you could still play it i guess from time to time but it just absolutely melts like robots the siege it melts like tanks ape it's just so ridiculously good uh, but there are a lot of other good brawlers in this meta, so we're going to leave this one. I guess not really as a 10, and I guess we'll just make it 11, so we'll make it a top 11 list. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to number 10. So coming in at number 10, we have Pam. Now, Pam is a basically kind of the same as Lola, where it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't do that much damage from far. You have to be up close to someone to do that damage, but the reason I have Pam a little bit higher is because its gadget is very, very strong. It counters tanks fully. And, you know, this isn't really a tank, but if you focus on the Rico here, when I go and I charge the Rico, I just take all of its ammo. So all it really has to kill me is a super. And if it doesn't hit every single bullet instantly from that super, it's gonna die because it has no ammo. When you have tanks, I have to go right beside you to get the kill. Just click the green button, you auto aim, you take all of the ammo, and then Pam does a ton of damage from up close. It's what i think 7.2 thousand hp is also just a lot the healing turret is very useful it's just really hard to take down pam and obviously as i just said it does counter tanks really well so that is why it is going to be our first brawler in the top 10. so coming in at number nine we have m's now if you guys are starting to see a little bit of a trend here you guys are noticing that it's going to be brawlers that do a lot of damage but aren't limited to only countering tanks. So if you think of Shelly, for example, you know, Shelly does really well against tanks, but it doesn't do really well against everything else. You guys can see here, I'm basically playing three brawlers that Ems is supposed to be bad into, which is Tick, B, and Nita. Yeah, I'm still going to be perfectly fine because the brawler is still good. It completely counters tanks, but it's also still good against that mid range and the long range if you just get in a good enough position. Don't mind me just walking into a tick head there. But yeah, M's is really good in Brawl Ball. It has two really good gadgets. It's good in other modes as well. It's very strong. It's very safe. And I really like M's in the current meta. It's only going to be eight though, because you guys are going to see the brawlers that are a little bit higher up on the list are very strong. And I don't know, M's just kind of doesn't compare with those brawlers. But the brawlers you see right now, they're just kind of good against everything. And you guys are going to see that a little bit as a trend. So let's hop on to the next brawler and uh, let's keep going. Now, number seven is going to be Gale, but I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit of a weird one because Gale is very, very strong into tanks. And with the draft meta, if someone ever takes a tank and you just go Gale, there's nothing that they could do. There's just simply nothing that they could do. And it got nerfed recently. It got, I think, 0.25 seconds less stun when you stun someone. But as you guys can see on the top of your screen, once someone is stunned, you just walk up, you auto-aim them, and they're just instantly dead, and there's nothing that they can really do. So, um, I mean, it's just a really strong brawler because of the super. I mean, the rest of it isn't really that strong, but the super is just so ridiculously strong that you can kind of just bully basically any brawlers. If, you, if I, you know, shot a little bit quicker there, I probably would have triple killed them. It's just so good. Um, there is a brawler that you guys might see jumping around on your screen right now that we'll get to later But uh, yeah, it's just such a good brawler. It's very broken uh, Especially with the super uh, But it you know, it also doesn't have the most range So if you're laning up against something like a surge or a squeak or a sandy or something That's also good mid-range. It's not gonna be the easiest It's just really safe and then also good into tanks. So it's going to be our number seven Okay, so coming in at number six we have crow so the last five brawlers that you guys saw was basically just brawlers that are good at countering tanks, but also good into basically the rest of the brawlers. Now, every brawler does have its weakness, but those brawlers are very well-rounded. Now, you're going to see a little bit more niche brawlers that are strong 
just because they're strong in general. So first we're gonna, well, first in the new kind of tier of brawlers, we're gonna have Crow. Now Crow was really strong in the last meta. It absolutely dominates some maps. If you're thinking of like Ring of Fire, Dueling Beetles, Hot Zone maps in general, Crow is just so good because of that slow. If you ever don't have positioning, you hit two of them and they're basically, they basically can't move for like five whole seconds. And if you have teammates in any type of coordination, you guys are going to see that Crow is just going to be able to, I don't know, it's just going to be able to change the course of a game so easily with two slows. If you guys see here, I think I get a double slow if I remember. Yeah, I do. And now the Colette just can't move, the Jackie can't move. And again, if you have any type of synergy or any type of teammates with a brain, it's just so easy to get that position. So if you don't have control, get the double slow, you get control back. Um, it's very good for holding control as well. Again, they basically just can't move right now. It's just free kills and the gadget, it's just so broken. It needs a little bit of a nerf. Now, nothing else about Crow is really that broken um, besides the gadget, but the gadget being so strong is just what's going to make this brawler in our top six. But because it can't single-handedly just carry a game, it's not going to be in our top five. So let's move on to the top five and let's show you guys what it is. So starting off our top five, we have Byron. Now this is a pretty obvious one. I would say it was, I think I put it top two in the last tier list behind Eve, um, but it, it fell off a little bit. It did get a nerf. Uh, the nerf was not the most significant thing in the world. I think it, it just was the recharge, or not the recharge, the charge for the super got changed. Don't look at the surge on your screen. We'll talk about that thing later. Uh, the, ch the change was, um, was just one more additional shot to get super. So it's just a, not as strong. There's just a little bit less value in Byron. Um, but it's still very good. You can still heal your teammates. You can still do a ton of damage. You still are very good where you were good before. It's just... Um, it's just It just lost a little bit of supers over the course of a game. Instead of getting eight supers, you'll get six or something like that. So it's just a little bit of a nerf but it's still good everywhere it still has a lot of value it still heals if i were to nerf it again which i probably would ever so slightly i would say the heals do 66 percent of the actual damage your shot does but then i feel like byron would lose what makes it special so i don't really like that too much maybe just lowering the damage a little bit but yeah this is going to be our number five brawler not too much to explain you guys already know that byron is very broken or not very broken but very good so let's move on to the next brawlers and let's keep this going so coming in at number four we have eve now eve was the definite number one brawler it ruined all of our ladder experiences uh if we were trying to play ladder we would just get spammed by these little eve pets like just the second star power just eve in general uh, was not very fun to go up against. Now, it's basically the same thing, but it kind of has a weakness. If you can get right up in Eve's face, because the shot speed is so slow, and it got slower, and, you know, your DPS is okay, but it's not anything crazy, you actually aren't that good up close. Now, it's still top four because the, the pets, they're just annoying. The damage is still there. The gadget that just lets you jump away from any type of situation that could get you killed is still there. Um, but yeah, Eve, it's pretty easily in our top four. Maybe it could be top three, but I like the Brawler in third a little bit more than I like Eve. Uh, but yeah, Eve is still super strong. But if you can get up close, that's its one weakness now. So that is going to be our number four Brawler. So coming in at number three, we have the dog, aka Ralph's, but I'm going to be calling it the dog for the entirety of this video. Um, uh, the dog is just very good. If you take out the fact that it has a power-up that makes every one of your teammates 20% better, basically. Um, it, it breaks open the map. It has bags, so it automatically counters stuff like B or Spike or anything like that. And like how the cactus got a nerf, I think the rough bags, or I mean the dog bags, sorry, very narrowly kind of escaped getting a nerf because the bags are just as good as the cactus, if not better. It's 6,000 total HP of blocked shots where the cactus is only 3k so i don't really know how roughs squeaked under the radar here but it's very good the power up is obviously the best part where you can just absolutely make a broken brawler like just imagine eve last meta but you have a roughs power up with it you are not killing it no matter what you do the bags are really good the fact that you can bounce shots like rico is really good 
Uh, everything is just really good with roughs. Even the star power, you can break the map open if you want the map to be open. And if you want it to be closed and you want to camp a little bit, you can just make your teammates stronger and give them more HP. There's just so many good things with roughs. Um, it's very easily, I think, a top three brawler. And I don't know if it's necessarily broken on ladder or, you know, just the most overpowered thing that's annoying to play against or... You know, it's just, it just looks so OP like some of the brawlers used to be. So that's why I think Ruffs is probably going to be top for a while. But uh, we'll see what happens. But let's move on to our next brawler and show you guys the uh, the top two. So coming in at number two, we have Squeak. Now, Squeak is very good right now. Squeak was slowly becoming, I wouldn't say meta, but Squeak was becoming good in the last meta, I guess, the last version of the balances, uh, where if you kind of have a last pick Squeak opportunity, you can really dominate the game because they, because if you just pick Squeak into a comp that Squeak is good into, there is literally nothing anyone can do when you have positioning. The super, as you guys can see, is broken. You just slow them and they can't really do anything and they're basically just a free kill. It's kind of like a crow slow, but this new gadget, the fact that you can just put it on the map wherever you want and nobody can walk through it or else they get slowed and you can just auto aim them to death for 20 whole seconds that is a lot of time look at this max this max is instantly dead the second it touches my circle because i'll shoot it my teammates will shoot it and i just blocked off an entire sector right there there are a lot of maps thinking like bridge too far or lair cake or i guess just any maps where there's like two tiles or only three tiles to cover this i'm covering like seven tiles right there that they can only really walk through one little gap and if they walk through that gap you can just shoot them so easily uh squeak is just really broken right now i expect it to get nerfed pretty fast because before it's it was only good into things that can't really run it down so if you're running it into like an ash and ash will just run in a straight line and kill you but now it's basically good into everything because you can just block off one side say you are not going here and just spam the other side so yeah, it's a really good brawler. It definitely needs a nerf, but so does our number one brawler, which has been jumping around on your screen this entire time. So let's hop into the number one brawler and show you guys. Oh, I wonder what it is. All right, so coming in at number one, we have Surge. And this, again, I only do one game of recording uh, to get footage for you guys. I don't do like four games or something because I think it just takes too long. If it's a bad game, it's a bad game. If it's a good game, it's a good game. I'm just talking about the brawler anyways. But just watch your screen. Just watch how dominant this brawler is. All you have to do, like it's it's bad. It's bad. You get your super so ridiculously fast and you just kill people so ridiculously fast. And you just jump on people and chain and it's, I don't know. It's, it's very strong. It is very 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 strong at first i was a little bit skeptical because you know surge without tp what's that gonna be like surge is very reliant on the tp but the fact that you can just jump over walls basically replaces the tp and then on top of that you have the two new gadgets which are really strong so i think the nerf is just don't allow surge to jump over walls and it'll be fixed but at the same time I don't really know. Uh, I, I think that's what makes it strong is just the fact that you can just chain super so easily by just jumping, spamming, auto aim twice, jumping again. Uh, but hopefully we get a change to it soon. That and Squeak are just way above the meta right now. So I really hope those two brawlers get a nerf. But that is going to be it uh, for the top 10 video today. If there's a brawler that you guys like that you guys think I missed, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys want to see any other list or anything else, even in the comment section below, that's going to be it for me today. And I'll catch you guys again soon. I guess that's it. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well, I have good news. You can be all of that and more by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.